Hi there and welcome back. We're on shelf five week three and we're getting into the chinas. Uh, I'm not going to pull them out because they're a little more fragile and there's a whole bunch of them. So in order to make it through, I'm going to probably go a little quicker than usual. But this first one we will make an exception and talk about. This is Lady from Lady and the Tramp. She is actually a bank and she is an officially licensed Walt Disney Productions piece by Hagen Reneker Pottery of Southern California. Found her at an antique store in Ohio and was very pleased because she has no marks on her. Next we'll move on to some of the smaller guys. We see a couple of buzzards. These are all Hagen Reneker Pottery. And then in the background we have Lady Jane and Son John, the sheep. Those are some of the older ones. Um, then we have the two lying down does. Those are both the same, considered the same model, that is Patience. The first one with the short ears is a Monrovia release. That's why she has those character eyes. And then the second one is a San Marcos release where they didn't do as much detailing. So she just has plain black eyes and a little black nose. Not as much detail, not as much paint work on her. Then we have one of the specialties fairies with Bunny. Bought her at Jamboree a long time ago. We have a specialties hummingbird and then a couple of budgies. Then we have some really rare ones. The first one is called a petal person, the little guy that's standing there and gonna throw something with a flower on his head standing on a leaf. Very rare, made for a very short period of time. Found that one in an antique store. And then behind him is a ballerina, another very rare um, piece from a long time ago. Bought that one from the Hagen Reneker archives dispersal. Then we have a tree, very exciting. And in the background, I think that's the fawn. That's a designer's workshop piece. They're the larger scale. So those deer were designer's workshop. This is a designer's workshop. I think it's sparkle, could be raindrop there. They did a whole bunch of the little fawns. Then we have a music box with a cat and a kitten. Those are Hagen Reneker. They did make the bases and assemble them for another company. And um, it was, I think, during the 80s. And um, they're fairly hard to come by. Then behind or next to him is a pronghorn. We're down into the specialty scale. We're gonna kind of go up and down in scale and size. In the front here, we have a tiger and then a jaguar, and then a couple of stoneware pieces. Stoneware is a differently fired pottery. We have the tiger and the zebra and the lion are all stoneware. Um, the lion and the zebra are specialties. The little tiger is mini scale. Um, let's see, then in the background we have an elephant specialties, and then we have some designer's workshop rabbits. I know that Molly is the mom and then the babies and I like them because they have a couple of different colors with the black and white and the solid white and then mama and the gray. And then we have a rhinoceros specialties and the giraffe and specialties. Um, and I guess I'll pull back because Miss um, Mama Goose here is in the way. This is the mother goose. She was made a couple of different ways. This is the one with version without any lace in the mat. And then in the background, you can see a special teas iguana, a couple of the bongo and the accordion mouse. They had a whole little mouse band and I forget the singer if he's a mouse or a frog, um, but they're very cute. And then the blue footed booby was a never released mold that they, I think it was actually a giveaway. You wrote in and they would just send you one. I can't even remember if you had to pay for shipping, but um, they found a couple and painted them up and gave them away. So that was really cool. Then we have a whole bunch of dogs. Most of them are minis. The guy in front with the circus collar is one of the rarer guys. And there's a couple of boxers. Then we have the um, Dash Hound series. The four dash hounds with the big gold stickers are all designers workshops. Brunhilda, Beanbag, Cornball, Elsa, um, and they come with a bed. It's a whole set, it's really cute. Couple more dash hounds, I have dash hounds, so I have to keep them. A whale, oh, and then in the background, I think a specialties fish and 
um, sea turtle. Then a couple of older um, bears on skis. They have little funny names, but I don't remember them. And then a couple of rabbits. We have the Valentine's Day and the Easter rabbits. Dropping down, I used to have a whole bunch of these different versions, but it's the goose with babies on pond. These little pigs are very scarce. They were considered toothpick holders and you can't find a lot of them. The watering trough is also old and rare. They have re-released it. The water is at a different level and I think is a different color is how you know the difference. This owl head, I do not remember the details on, but I saw somewhere in a book of Hagen Renneker, so I had to pick him up. The kudu is really cool, specialty piece, fairly rare, very fragile with those big curving um, tusks or horns and fairly base narrow, so he tips over a lot. Then in the background, you can see a specialties wolf, a mini bobcat, the mini Longhorn in the front. This is a designer's workshop polar bear. And then we've got a couple of mini camels. These are a rare variation with the fez um, on top of them. So a lot of these pieces you can find with a lot of different variations over the years. Um, so that was pretty quick, but hope you enjoyed and we'll have some more China next week.